Hello, everybody. Um, I was having problems with the shape yesterday. And the issue that I'm having is I need this to have a nice fluid transition for a render. And I'm getting a real bad kink right here where these two surfaces line up. So I had an idea last night. I'm not sure if it's going to work. There might be several edit points in this video while I go back and, and fix things. But I have an idea for how to make this just a little bit better. Um, so what I've got set up here is on the back here, you can see I have one curve here that I use with my finger rail to get my um, the, bottom, the, the inside of the shank. Just use curve to view for that. And then um, I drew this curve on the C-plane and projected it onto the surface. And I drew it on the C-plane so I could make sure I hit these intersection marks right there and right there. And my idea was to do this, to generate a surface, trim it back, and then use blends to get where I was, uh, where I want to go. So I used uh, network surface to generate this shape. And I've got a clipping plane turned on right now. So uh, you can see the back half of the ring or the, the center section of the ring. But what I am going to do is jump into my right viewport and turn off um, my object snaps and I will trim this out oops that's not the right one let's do a degree five I'm going to trim this out now this is the halfway part of my shank I want it to be rounded here but it's going to start moving to a point here I don't want it to be a sharp point between the fingers, so I'm going to try and clip it out here. It'll be round here. It'll be sharp there. This will be the center point of where that transition takes place. So I'm going to come in and let me turn my object snap, so I'm going to project. Find the center point there. Why is it jumping? And it doesn't really matter what I'm going to do on this side because I want to take that and just to make sure it's all sitting on the C plane, I'll use set points and I want to make sure that on the X, they're all set to zero. And then I want to use curve symmetry, Pascal script. I want to keep this end and I'm just going to say user from zero. And that way, uh, the control points on this should be equal on both sides. Okay. So now I just need to take this and project it onto my poly surface here. Okay. And that will give me a nice little trim curve to cut that all back. All right, now the next thing I need to do is create a surface for it to join up to. So I'm going to come up here and just make a surface off of this. And I think the best thing to do would be to call subcurve and make sure copies on so we don't delete the original. I want to go from there to there. And I'll mirror that to the other side as well. Okay, so I've got this little subcurve on both sides. I actually don't need to do it on both sides. I want to delete that other one. Grab that little piece of curve, and I want to say sweep one. Sweep one on this poly surface edge. That little bit of curve. And tell it okay. Now, that gives me this little surface to start with. Um... I just used it to get started. I'm going to rebuild it. And right now it's degree three in both directions with four points. That's actually good. I'll just go start going with that. So I'm going to turn the points on. And I want these to follow this straight line. So I'm going to grab all these points and use set point along the X. To all be right there. Oops. That did not work. Oh, projectors on. 
Try that again. Set point along the X. I'll be right there. And I should have also set point on the Y direction as well. Okay. Now it's going straight up and down there. Uh, let's switch to our front view port and just take these guys and rotate them over to where I want that shape to match up. I used um, the reason I, I laid out the curves for the network surface that made my, my shank is to try and get the continuity to flow easily to this point. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I want this continuity to flow towards this one as well. It doesn't need to be exact, but it does need to line up pretty closely because a little kink, a little kink right there, and now this curvature is flowing this way, and it's going to have to make a sweep back over to here. So just go ahead and pointing them in the same general direction is going to make the blend work out a lot better. So for that one, I'm going to go straight down. And these guys need to angle a bit more this way. So that may be enough to get me where I'm going. And I'll take and mirror this around off of zero to the other side. I've got both. And I should have no problems joining those up because I use set point to move that edge. And that joins up OK. And we will join up this poly surface with that one. And that joins up okay. All right. So now let's try our blend surface here. All right, we'll pick our first edge. And our next segment for the first edge. And then our second edge. And let's see what we get here. Let's turn preview on. All right. Okay, slight edit point there. Um, my first curve that I used to try and trim this surface back, I left too much of the surface here. And it's going up rather sharply, and it didn't have enough time to make it over here, so it was making quite a hump uh, as it, made its transformation so I need to edit this curve so that I'm not chopping off I'm chopping off more of this side to give it more room for the transition so bring that over a little bit more bring this over You can see how it's fluid here, but it's got a kink here. That's that's where the ring shape starts to expand pretty quickly. I don't think there's anything I'm going to be able to do to get that out. No? Okay. It's because I got this big hump at the top. I may not have chosen the best... Um, starting surface to make this blend with but I'm gonna give it another shot so curve symmetry grab this guy all right and that did an update so project on to here and now we can use this curve to trim this out All right, attempt number three. The last one I kept getting, it, it was too much of a, it actually inverted and made it concave right here, or a hull, um, as it reached this point. It didn't come down and, and gradually touch it, so I got rid of those surfaces. 
mirror that around because now I'm going to try it with a different way um, extract an ISO curve out of here and call extend no boundary object type smooth to that point right there all right and now let's just do a uh, network surface Join these up. Do a network surface here. All right, and tell it we want curvature continuity on C and positional continuity on A. You get a preview of that. That yeah, looks pretty damn good. Uh, let's turn on some light lines. The only kink we have is right there at the point. All right, I think that's it. You guys see anything else you think I could have done? Let me know. All right. Bye, guys.